Hey everyone, excuse my voice, I'm sick, but I just wanted to do a quick unboxing with you. I ordered a bag from Coach uh, Retail. <clears throat> so here we go. It was a bit tricky doing that one-handed, so I just did that off camera. Here she is. And then in the dust bag, I hope it's still in the plastic, I don't know. On the bottom. Okay. Do 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 do. Welcome to Kiki's channel. Do do. Ding ding. Okay, so I got the Mira bag from Coach. And I paid full price for this. Unfortunately, it was not on sale. And the reason I jumped at it on full price, um, even though I usually prefer if I'm going to buy Coach to get it on reserve, like from the Coach outlet site when they go on sale, was because it was the last one left. And I really, really wanted the chain strap that came with it. Um, and I was going to buy the chain strap anyway separately. And alone, this chain strap that you see here that comes with it, costs already $150 so I figured a little bit more and by a little bit I mean how much more $330 more I could get a bag too so I just wanted to see if I would like it it's in my favorite color this kind of like rich kind of um true brown I would say it slightly means warm and so I hope I like this bag. Let's take off the wrapping and see what she looks like. <laughs> His eyes are looking a little dark again because I put the um, lens cleanser, which has boric acid for his eye um, redness on him. So you can like that. Guys, I'm still so sick. Like, I don't know when I'm going to be better. It feels like the sickness that is never going to go away. In here is two of the, I guess, the little salt thingy. Not salt. You know what they are. Forget the name. And the inside is kind of um, microfiber lined that made to feel like a suede. <laughs> oh my gosh, my voice, guys. I'm in so much pain. Moon puff, don't do it. Don't do it. I think I'm gonna use the scissors and cut these parts off off camera just so it's a little faster. Be right back. So here is the bag on her own, and on the bottom it says genuine glove tent leather. It is super smooth, but with still a little bit of texture, if that makes sense. Let me zoom in. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with Hermes leathers. It's, it reminds me of Swift leather, but not as smooth and not as soft, like a rougher, more pebbly version of Swift, if that makes sense. That's what it looks on the other side, a really simple design. I really like that it's very carefree and um, no logos, essentially. Uh, other than this C on the little zipper pull, I don't really see any like obvious, really large um, logos anyway. Of course, it still has the Coach um, branding on the details, like grommets and stuff. But other than that, there's pretty much nothing. It comes with this, this slightly thicker strap. I would say it's about an inch thick. Uh, shoulder slash crossbody strap that can be used like this. You touch it, ta-da. I usually always shorten mine to the shortest setting, but like I said, the whole reason I got this bag was because of this. And the fact that it was the last one on the site, so I kind of had to because I was like, oh my gosh, if I don't get it now, I'll regret it. And even if I get it and I really don't like it when I do receive it, I can just return it. So that was my my um reasoning or logic there this is the reason i bought this bag i feel like coach is really killing it like absolutely killing it for the last few years on their strap game 
Never mind the quality of the straps, which is very, very good, especially for the price point. But the fact that most of their bags, like many, many, many of their bags, come with multiple straps. The fact that they um, come with D-rings so that they can be um, easily interchangeable. Like, so you can put different straps on, no strap, whatever. That alone, I think, has a lot of the big fashion houses blown out of the water. Like, absolutely, I wish... Louis Vuitton would stop doing their guitar straps. I mean, I'm not the only one who thinks this. I wish a lot of the houses, like for example, Chanel, um, and their stupidly long sized, like a uh, long, not sized, so long chains on their bags, especially their walks, would just give an option to either be shortened or at least to be removable so that you could purchase or use a another strap just to dress it up or like you know to change the look um it changes the usability of the bag so much i just feel like coach really has that done right and on top of doing it right i feel like the quality of their actual hardware now i don't know what this is made of i it feels like metal but i've heard from other youtubers that it could just be also like resin that's like layered over with metal um regardless this feels very um substantial it feels very uh high quality and there's nothing i have to complain about these uh chains that they make and oh on top of that i want to say that i love i absolutely adore coach's burnished kind of um what do they call this burnished gold type antique gold hardware because it is just so hard wearing compared to having a very shiny hardware you don't see finger marks and scuffs on it like at all basically but you can be using this day in and day out and you wouldn't notice the wear which i think is a really really important point especially when you're paying for a bag at a high price point and i know coach um it's not like the most expensive brand i guess most people would categorize it as contemporary brand but in the end, this is still, you know, it's still money. It's still expensive. So I, I do appreciate that I feel like they've thought about these details. And I wish a lot of luxury houses would do the same because some of that hardware, and I'm kind of eyeing Louis Vuitton a little bit, but honestly, Chanel's hardware is, is pretty, pretty shite <laughs> recently, the last decade or so, considering, especially considering the price point. Um, that I wish they would just take like, a look at what coach is doing and implement that considering their price is our multiples multitudes of what coach is i feel like they definitely have more than enough room in their budget to to set aside for having higher quality um hardware leathers and frankly um user friendly design i guess if that makes sense like the rings that come on um, I think I'll do some mod shots in a second if you guys like to see that. So, oh, actually one thing I wanted to show you guys was how this chain would look like on my new banded bag. Now, this bag, I also, no, I did not also, is a coach retail bag, but I was so lucky. Like, honestly, I sometimes pinch myself. I'm so lucky. Can you believe I got this bag at 60% off on Coach Reserve? The original price was like in the 600s. It is an absolutely beautiful bag um, made with genuine full grain leather. And I got it 60% off. Like I am still, I cannot believe that. So this chain that I have on it did not come with this bag, but it is a Coach um, chain. This one, <laughs> it's a funny story about this one too. There's like a, a bit of a pattern here i bought a bag called the i think the beat bag in shearling so it's all like furry and cute 99 percent. well I, I i wanted a shearling bag but mostly because i wanted this chain in that bag once i discovered that this was a thing um those bags had been discontinued or the beat beat bag i believe is what it was called and so i thought i would never get one blah 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 i looked on ebay but they did but there weren't any available for just the, to buy the chain and then um one day when i was just scrolling through coach reserve i saw the beat bag and it came with this beautiful chain and like i was i was on that so fast guys so this is one of my favorite chains it came with that bag i don't think they sell it separately 
Uh, whereas this one you can buy it separately for $150 plus tax Canadian. Um, probably like somewhere around that realm of like 110, I'm guessing, in US dollars. But how good is that? How good is that? I'm gonna switch it and see what how it looks like on my bandit and then on how it looks like on here. Okay, first, because I did buy it with this bag, I figured I should probably show it with the mirror bag first. Like, how good is this? It is like giving luxury. I know it's quite a luxury still thing. I have no idea. Like guys, I'm not with it in terms of the fashion news, but I just love the look. It's so simplistic, but uh, just giving, she's that girl, you know? See. I'm sorry, I'm flipping it around so much. And my excuse is always going to be now I'm sick. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. Now there is, I noticed right here, and I think you can see it too in the camera, a little bit of dimpling here, but I feel like once you fill it with items, it'll be fine. And supposedly the story with glove tan leather is the more you wear it, it's supposed to have that kind of like soft lived in look. So that's cool. But oh my gosh, this full grain leather. It is, it's, it's a thing. Oh my God. So let's try this. Let's switch the straps and see how they look. Oh my gosh. It's just because there's nothing in it right now. It's very, very light compared to the weight of the chain. All right, so I switched the chains. It is so good. Oh my gosh. See, this is what I mean. Like you need to be able to change the chains and straps in the bag. It gives a totally different vibe. In this case, a very similar vibe. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie there. But, oh my gosh, love the detailing on both of these straps so much. They make the bags just really extra je ne sais quoi kind of thing. So actually size-wise, compared to my shoulder bag bandit, it is actually longer. So I'm gonna do an aerial view. Huh. I feel like because of the suppleness of the glove tan leather, this would be able to hold more. I'll probably do another video reviewing what fits and all that kind of stuff another time. Um, but it is interesting to see Oops, that, okay, size-wise, they're actually very comparable. In terms of dimensions, I mean, they're completely different styles of bags. This is, I would say, like, you know, a zip top, more casual type bag. Whereas, obviously, this one feels a little bit more formal or can be more formal compared to this. But I'm really loving it. I can't wait to style her with different outfits. I feel like this would be such a good grab-and-go bag. But I, having said that, I've been using this bandit so much for grab-and-go. Like, this has been my favorite bag ever since I got her. So I hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing video. Let me know if you have any questions. Please, please, please give me a like. That would really, really help my channel out. And please don't forget to comment and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to be notified whenever I upload new videos. Bye-bye. Janet. Ding, ding. Do, 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 do. Thanks for watching. Come again. Bye-bye.